Hello and welcome to India Today. My name is Shibhu Tripathi and I am here to tell you all about the world of science, from the depth of oceans on our planet to the edge of the universe and everything in between. This is the universe this week. This new video series will look at all that happened, not just on our planet, but beyond the boundaries of Earth, going into the vastness of the cosmos, to the development of technology and the discoveries that follow. In the week that has preceded us, a lot has happened, from SpaceX launching multiple satellites on its Falcon 9 rocket, to a mysterious spiral that was seen in the skies of Hawaii, to Saturn and Venus engaging in a celestial dance. Here is a wrap-up of all that has happened in the last week and before we dive into our big story. The rare green comet has finally arrived in the skies above Earth. The comet has come closer to Earth after completing its orbit around the Sun, as it begins an outbound journey to the edge of the solar system. The comet will be next seen only after 50,000 years, and maybe by the time it returns, our species would be on another planet. An iceberg bigger than the size of Delhi has broken off in Antarctica, in what is yet another impact of climate change and the ongoing warming of the planet. The ice shelf is 1,500 square kilometers in size. The world is closer to doomsday than it ever was. Atomic scientists have moved the clock, and it is now just 90 seconds from midnight that is 90 seconds from complete catastrophe. The move has been triggered by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, nuclear saber rattling, and the world facing threats of growing infectious diseases and climate change. ISRO is now ready to conduct the maiden landing demonstration of its reusable launch vehicle, which has been under development for over a decade now. The Indian Space Agency will lift off the launch vehicle on an Indian Air Force chopper and then demonstrate its landing capabilities. A successful flight demonstration of RLB was conducted in 2016. Now on to our big story, one that happened about two decades ago. One that shook not just India, but the world. The unfortunate loss of Columbia Shuttle mission in which India lost its bravest daughter, astronaut Kalpana Chawla. We look back at the moments before the disaster struck and what did the investigations find in years after the mishap and where is the shuttle mission now? On February 1st, 2003, it was all going as per plan and seven astronauts were on their way home after spending 15 days in the vacuum of space, living and working in zero gravity. Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, the headquarters of the mission, did not anticipate anything untoward. It was prepping the runway for Columbia Space Shuttle to land. The mission had taken off from Cape Canaveral about two weeks ago on January 16, 2003. In the wee hours of February 1, NASA's entry flight director, Leroy Kane, had given the final green light to shuttle commander Rick Husband to initiate a deorbit burn and re-entry procedure. What followed next was disaster that turned out to be the worst in the American Space Agency and their space exploration history. Following the initiation of the re-entry procedure, telemetry indicated that the hydraulic fluid temperatures went off scale. But there was nothing that could explain the fault. Soon, more and more sensors began to show malfunction. And with every passing second, the threat became grave. Then, the shuttle lost all communications. Flight Director Leroy Kane ordered to lock the door, a procedure that treated the flight center as a crime scene and prevents any other information from going out. But moments later, news cameras picked up fireballs in the skies over Texas as debris came crashing. Seven souls on board were lost forever. A rigorous investigation revealed that the shuttle's fate was sealed moments after it lifted off on January 16th. A large piece of foam had fallen off from shuttle's external tank, striking the spacecraft wing the piece of foam fell 82 seconds after the shuttle was launched. This hole caused atmospheric gases to mix into the shuttle as it went through its fiery re-entry, leading to the loss of sensors and eventually of the mission. The spacecraft was travelling at 18 times the speed of sound and was 61,000 meters above the ground when it erupted into a fireball. But what happened to the shuttle program? The shuttle mission was put on hold for two years before it was re-evaluated and fixed for the next flight. It went on to carry astronauts into space for nearly another decade before it was retired in 2011 as Atlantis. In the decade since the fatal Columbia disaster, Russia's Soyuz and SpaceX Crew Dragon has been transporting humans to space. But the loss of the seven crew and India's Kalpana Chawla will forever be mourned. That is all in this episode of Universe This Week. We will return with another exciting update from the world of science next week. If you enjoyed this, do like and share, subscribe and follow me on Twitter at IMSK Tripathi for daily science coverage. Till then, check out India Today's other videos and subscribe to India Today.